Remove all contents from the boxes you received and verify that you have everything you need before you get started. The Orion Microscope Arm Table Mount will clamp to any tabletop. Simply place the table mount on your tabletop in your desired location and then tighten the screw located at the bottom of the arm base with an Allen wrench. Align the arm base screw with the center hole of the included still plate and then tighten. This still plate will help spread the weight of the system and provide more support. Insert the bottom end of the microscope arm into the microscope arm table mount. Insert the welder into the top of the arm. Then use an Allen wrench to secure the welder in place on the arm. Plug the power cable into the back of the welder and into the back of the power supply box. Now, plug the AC power cord into the power supply box. Last, plug the end of the AC power cord into any standard 110 to 220 VAC outlet. Plug the three pin foot pedal connector into the back of the welder into the port marked trigger. Plug the tube from the compressed air tank into the air valve system on the back of the weld head. The right port on the back of the weld head connects to the bottom port on the top of the weld head. The left port on the back of the weld head connects to the upper port on the top of the weld head. Using the provided splitter, Plug the tubes into the gas port on the back of the welder and into the port on the back of the weld head at the bottom of the air valve system. Plug the 4-DIN connector on the back of the weld head into the valve control port on the side of the weld head. Using the wires on the weld head, connect the red wire to the positive port and the black wire to the negative port. Plug the RJ45 end of the cable into the welder and the RJ11 end of the cable into the weld head. Plug the AC power cable into the side of the weld head. Then plug the other end into any standard 110 to 220 VAC outlet. Drill four holes into your tabletop. Slide the screws into the base. Then lower the weld head into the screw holes. This will ensure your weld head will be secured in place during welding. Now slide the base plate onto the base of the weld head and tighten the wheel on the side of the base plate to secure. Then replace the base plate cap. Remove the nose cap from the weld head and twist the electrode holder counterclockwise to open the collet. Insert the electrode into the collet. Tighten the electrode holder clockwise to secure the electrode in place. The electrode should protrude about half an inch out of the holder. Now replace the nose cap. Turn on the welder with the button on the bottom of the welder. Then turn on the weld head with the switch found on the side. Once both are powered, the welder interface should display the EV mode tab. If you don't see this tab, you may be missing a connector or may have not powered the weld head. Turn off the weld head. Unplug the RJ11 cable from the weld head. Disconnect the following connections from the welder. Disconnect the wires from the positive and negative ports. Then unplug the RJ11 cable from the accessory port. Insert the stylus into the stylus port and push in until you can screw the stylus threads onto the stylus port. Continue to push and thread until the stylus is secure. 
Unscrew the dial at the bottom of the stylus holder and place the stylus into the holder. Tighten the dial to secure the stylus in place. Plug in the RJ45 cord into the shutter port on the back of the welder and the other end into the base of the microscope. Place the covers onto the eyepieces on the microscope. Adjust to your comfort preference. Now you are ready to weld using the stylus and microscope.